All right, YouTube, so I'm doing another video. Um, it's been a couple days since I did the last one, but let me uh, go ahead and give an update here on where we're at. So we are almost done getting everything situated for first fire up. Uh, we decided we're going to, when we do the first fire up and officially get it running, we're just gonna throw the stock of math on here. And yeah, basically just throw the stock math on it and start it up because in terms of pistons and all this stuff, yeah, it's built, it's a built motor, but compression is almost identical to stock. So really we can break in the motor factory, you know, get it heat cycle and everything before we actually get uh, our tuner over here and him to actually tune it on the turbo setup. So we'll just pull off this hose or this clamp, this, that thingy. Oh, that's fine. What? No. You don't want to do that long. I, I, you still got your factory pipe, right? The plastic, was it plastic? Yeah, just, I suggest just pulling this one off and running your factory pipe because it's designed, it's tuned for that length. And uh, yeah, we'll basically just heat cycle the motor, uh, get it warmed up, make sure we're good on our oil and you know, hopefully no leaks. Oh, these, these motors are a pain in the butt to stop leaks at, but you know, hopefully uh, we're not gonna have that issue with this one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing the first fire up. I've capped off the boost line for the boost gauge. I've capped that off. I uh, capped off the line for the map sensor because it's gonna be uh, tuned on a map instead of math when uh, we change ECUs. But for now, uh, stock ECU is still technically in the car. So here shortly, we're going to uh, get her fired up and I'll record first fire up and heat cycle and all that good stuff. And yeah, I know he's anxious. I'm anxious too. You know, this I'm, I started building this motor months ago, months and months and months ago, half a year or so. But, you know, finally it took a while because of fun, but it happens. So here she is. And plus we got to we got to cycle the motor anyways, because he's got an oil cooler. And we got to make sure we're good on oil through the whole system, push out any air and all that good stuff. Yeah, he's dealing with that right now, but oh, oh, cool as a bitch dealing with it on this engine. But yeah, uh, more to come. I'll, uh, hopefully the next video will be starting it up. Uh, I'm not going to record the first time we're actually going to cycle the motor. Because the first cycle is just going to be pushing oil through the system to lubricate everything and to push out all the air out the oil cooler and make sure we're good for when it actually requires the full pressure it'll be there ready to go so yeah more soon all right time has come we got our stock intake back on math is plugged up Timing is connected, everything is on its mark. We got coolant or water in there for now. Uh, we primed it for a good amount. Hopefully uh, it pushed some oil through and it's time for first fire officially. So give it a go and I'll control the throttle. Yeah, got fuel pressure. Try it one more time. All right, hold on. Uh, possibility I might have timed it wrong. I mean, that, that's my first time doing S14, Dizzy. I don't know. You want to check? You want to check the the timing? Because you do S14s, I don't. Yeah, go ahead. All right, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so Willie makes mistakes. Uh, since he doesn't normally do S14s, and S14 distributors are internal coil, 
so they're timed a little bit different on the way you put them in. So apparently I put it in 180 degrees out. I'm used to the S13s that I've timed a million times and I've pretty much always got them on the mark the first time. So, yeah, I put the distributor out. That's why it wasn't starting. That's why you had that nice backfire the first time. So technically at this point, it should fire. So here we go. I wonder if that's TPS related by any chance or IAC related. Uh, uh, well, try it again. I won't give it any, any throttle. Let it stop spinning. Cut it off. I just remembered you got the fucking high injectors in there right now. The 750s or whatever. That might be part of why it's having trouble starting. Because that's very rich. Okay, so we need to change injectors real fast. More to come. Alright, well, here we go. We're gonna give her a startup. We got it lubricated and all that good stuff. So yeah. Give it a go. Oil pressure. Oil pressure. Still air. 